What is up, guys? Derek with Divine AV back here, and we are back in Austin. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we are based out of Dallas, Texas, um, but we do have a few communities that we service down here in Austin. So we come down here two or three times a year to uh, complete some home theater systems. So yeah, we're here now, and uh, this one's going to be freaking sick because we're doing uh, a nine-channel system in here. What we already started working on, these rears, uh, from the seating or the sides rather from the seating were way too far forward where they pre-wired them so I backed them out and dropped them down to be a little closer to ear level the rears are okay so Mercedes is working on these rears are gonna we're just gonna go to the top of the box put those in so we're gonna pull these wires back from over here to their new location everything's going behind the screen 162 inch so the left and the right there actually have to kick in about six inches and then the center channel, I'm hoping that they wired it here in the wall and they didn't just forget to wire it. If not, I can get to the attic and drop a new line, not the end of the world. So yeah, this will be a nine channel system. It's all clips we're doing pro 18s. So our RW pro 18s for the left and the right. And then we're doing a THX 502 L center channel. It'll be a freaking sick combination. Um, and then it's pro 16s for all the surrounds. So yeah, 7.1.2 in here. And then everything is wired back behind this wall. So the other side of this wall, it's wired in there. So I'm gonna pull out all those wires, mount up a shelf and mount the receiver right there. Um, Epson 3800 for projection. All right, well, um, I'll check in about two or three hours when we are a little bit further along so you guys can check it out. And then uh, we'll go from there. Stay tuned. All right, a few hours later, let's check in on our progress. So yeah, we got that one all cut out, pulled that wire from back behind there. Those two, like I said, were good. This one was pretty tough. I actually had to make a box down there we had to drill through this side stud made a box down there should be inconspicuous when we drilled up through this and then dropped it from that plate so that was tough but got it done fronts are all cut out those are all there that looks great um helped him out just uh because uh he doesn't want to use these light switches really but when they're cleaning the room i just went ahead and dropped them for him so when they're cleaning the room he said he doesn't really use that overhead light but kind of nice that he can turn that off if he's cleaning or something they're mainly using sconces for whatever reason the electrician wired the sconces here and wired the other ones there in the middle of the room but no problem we're gonna cover the screen over it that 162 inch gonna look good in here and then um yeah cody's bringing me the products up from uh, dallas and then we're going back to our hotel tonight and then we're in rendezvous back here in the morning with all the products and knock it out in a few hours all right guys stay tuned what is up guys we back here on day two um cody is back there in that little niche he's uh dropping the hdmi cable for the projector so he's working on that he got all of our products in so yeah here's all our pro 16s and all that the 2080 is already unboxed i'm gonna put this in a second in a second but I have to mount some boards up and I'm gonna mount a shelf on that wall for him. So you can see this little shelf right here. It's gonna hold the receiver. See, we got all the Pro 16s in. These look great. There's HDMI. Pro HDMI. Pro 18s up front for the left and right. THX 502. Yeah, yeah, that was very cool. And I've got Cat 5. I'm gonna go ahead and cock these tweets in a little bit towards the seating, there we go. Clips 502. The cat five is a bit shorter than the HDMI, so. And Mercedes on the other end running HDMI. Setting this guy up, so projector's all set up. Just gonna go ahead, uh, pop that 3800 up there, finish building our screen, and then uh, pop it up on the wall and we'll be good to go. Rock and roll.
All right, guys, I am done with my portion on this project. Warren is coming to take my place. Here's our rack. That is there, my custom built skeleton rack. That is amazing. Um, here we're going to get one more shelf for them because right now we have these sitting on the back. I only had one shelf in stock. They'll be all right since so this thing is still top vented, so those devices will be okay. We're going to put one more shelf on top to hold the rest of the devices uh, next time we come out. Um, we'll be back here in about six weeks. So, um, yeah, Warren, I'm going to hand you on over to Warren. He's going to do the final demo of the room now that it's 100% complete. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? Warren Divine AV. All right, so Derek, Mercedes, and Cody got this one all finished up. We are in Austin, Texas. Let me show you how it turned out. Check it out. All right, so right away, we got the Pro 16 RW here on the sides. We got Pro 16 RW in the rear. We went a little bit higher in the rear so we could make it sound like it's a bit further away. We've got the Epson 3800 projection up here. Just got to zip up those wires. This is a 4K upscaling projector. We've got the CS16s overhead. Just got to clean up a little fingerprints there, but awesome speakers, perfect positioning. And uh, we painted the grill covers. So Cody's right here, and he just brought those grill covers in. So they are, they're painted to match the walls, which is pretty cool. Then, of course, we've got the masterpiece, the curved 161-inch acoustically transparent screen. Divine Audio Visual Custom. Look at that perfect curvature there. And then we got the uh, acoustic transparent material. Let's see, let's see if I can get this to focus for you guys. There we go. Very, very small micro perforations. Done with a laser. Okay, so let me go ahead and get you guys into a demonstration. I'm going to cover up that window really fast, of course. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Appreciate it, guys. this it's just the beginning of dolby vision because what you thought was black isn't this is black this is contrast that reveals details deeper than any image you've seen on a screen this is luminance that means the difference between light and pure energy energy that is about to reveal an entire universe of color you've never experienced in the cinema.